Hi, I'm Carla. My name is Kirk. The desire and the dream to go overseas has always been part of our lives as a couple. About reaching a different culture. Going in and not being successful, however, people determine what success is. Um, and I think Carla gets on my case in that for that a lot because I will frequently say, well, I'm not gifted in this area or this area. I'm not good at this or I'm not good at that. And she always gives me a good dose of truth and wisdom. When we were younger, we viewed following our passion or our desire um, as something that was kind of exciting or as an adventure and something that was always talked of as, you know, you, something maybe that you've seen in the movies. I think we realized very quickly, especially with something um, like going overseas and living in a foreign culture and trying to learn another language and trying to belong in a place that is, has fairly well-established cultural norms and societal expectations, um, that there is, there is a high cost and there's a high level of sacrifice that goes into making a decision like that. It is challenging to think about moving overseas when you start having a family. There's just so much more to think about. We were able to visit a country where the majority of the population were Muslim. It was good to see just how the families lived in those places and learning from them um, what it was like to be a family and to um, make some of the sacrifices that you make as a family. It was a hard lesson to learn, but in the end it was, it was probably, probably the best thing that we could learn along the way. It is really um, hard to look around at the culture and it's really, really easy to be tempted to be sucked in to materialism and you know, just getting really comfortable. I think there's always a tension for us, and I think rightly so, to be able to have things and do things and own things and not become attached in a way that if God does open a door and, and we feel it's the right time to go, we don't want to be too attached to the things that we have that we decide not to go. I think where I would say that I feel discouraged, wishing that there would be more fruit to what we've done or what has happened so far. What I, I still point to is a few times in life are we ever absolutely certain about something. You know, there's always a bit of doubt or a bit of questioning that goes on. I've had these instances where things were just seem very, very clear, uh, abundantly clear that uh, something that I needed to explore, something that I needed to flesh out a little bit more. Instead of having things that keep me going on, I usually refer to those experiences in the past that are reminders for me why I did this. To be active and exploring it, um, and not to put it on the shelf, but to be active and exploring it, primarily in my mind through just talking to people, talking to people who are doing what you could see yourself doing, and just just, just do it, and just jump in and do it. That's probably the best way to know if this is the right thing for you or not. It's getting some experience too.